Lake Winnebago, and Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This is Walleye Country, and Lake Winnebago is one of the premier fisheries in the nation. Welcome to stop number two in the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour. There we go. There's nearly $400,000 on the line, including a prize package worth almost 90 grand for the winner on the pro side. There are points for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year race. And it all starts now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Day number one, Lake Winnebago system here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, one of the premier walleye fisheries in all of North America. Over the years, these shallow water walleyes have proved to bite no matter what. The difference is, this year, the water is being reported from the anglers as being more clear, clearer than it's ever been before. Thus, a lot of the fish seem a little bit shy to different presentations. Weather is turbulent. We had a couple of storms roll through overnight. Is that going to dirty up the water enough to turn on the bite? Let's find out. Uh, I'm from Beardam, Wisconsin. Corey Springle's dad, so I know Winnebago pretty good. So. Just hoping to uh, have a good day of fishing and hopefully dodge those storms they say are coming. I did look at the radar this morning. We do got a, a pretty big supercell coming out of Iowa. So hopefully we can get on our fish early and get them done before that storm gets here. You know, this lake is really fickle when it comes to storms. So, um, you know, the wind's down today. So we're gonna go start at the mouth of the river where I actually fished championship a couple years ago. There's a lot of fish coming through the system right now. We're gonna start there. And then from there, we're gonna make a couple adjustments. But uh, fishing has been good if you can get on the right pot of fish. You know, it's areas that have good fish. You just kind of got to stick it out until you find that pod. And once you find that pod, they're the right ones. And uh, you're going to see some big bags for Winnebago today. We've got 140 of the best professional walleye anglers in the country on hand, fishing for a total purse of just over $375,000. Looking at the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year standings, Tom Keenan is at the top of the leaderboard after picking up the win at the first event of the season on Lake Erie. It may be your day, 45-63, Tom Keenan! And it's with Tom and his co-angler, Ryan Buddy, that we'll begin tournament coverage. Oh yeah, it's time. I want to win Angler of the Year. Hell yeah. This is, we're going to my water. I want to win the tournament. Me too. No one's ever won back to back. I'm going the upper lakes. I'm actually going to go jigging. Uh, Pre-fishing for me was really good up there. The few days I've been up there, I think we can catch a limit of 18 to 23 inch fish fairly easy and maybe get one really good one. Um, I know a lot of guys are going to go troll right outside the river mouth here and uh, that's a needle in the haystack. Um, you know, the fish are moving every single day. Um, good luck catching them two days in a row. I, think, I hope that I can catch them back to back days and do really well. I don't think I'll be leading after Dave. I think I'll be positioned pretty well to do well. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with this weather. Some bad weather coming it looks like and uh, I just hope we can fish. With heavy rain last night and more in the forecast for this afternoon, anglers are trying to load up early. These fish are notorious for shutting down if things get nasty. Moving on, we'll check in with the 2014 NWT champion, Corey Sprengel. Yeah, these fish right now are, you know, they're definitely post-spawn and uh, just heading their way back to the, to the main lake. You know, there's a lot of food for them out in Lake Winnebago. They run up in, into these upper lakes and up in the Wolf River to spawn and then they slide back down and basically what we're doing is just intercepting them. Um, there's been a lot of good fish getting caught, you know, it's kind of been spotty um, as for, you know, being consistent every day. But it's going to take a pretty good bag two days in a row to win this tournament. Definitely a lot bigger than when last time, you know, there's going to be some 25 pound bags for sure. There may even be one that pushes 30. For me, Lake Winnebago system, it, you know, it's only about a half hour ride away from my house, so it's considered probably my home body of water. I have a lot of history with this body of water. Actually, the last National Walleye Tour event that was here for the championship, I actually pulled off the wind. Uh, it was really tough conditions in, um, but uh, the conditions are going to be a lot better here, a lot bigger weights. You kind of got to be free and roam around and fish the right uh, types of structure, you know, with the right conditions. Take that, yeah. There we go, that's what we're after there. There we go, 20, 25 and a half. Just what we're looking for. <clears throat> Four more. With one in the box, we'll move on and check in with local pro angler, Jason Mucci. Right, yeah, I've been uh, fishing Lake Winnebago since uh, job, pretty man. much since the early 80s. One of the things I like about Lake Winnebago is, is its diversity. That is a hoss. One of the key features of uh, finding these fish out here in the vast mud 
They've been moving sometimes a mile to three miles each day. Yesterday I lost them, so I did. I just got up on plane, I was going like 20 miles an hour using my graph to find the schools of fish. Where I caught them yesterday to where I just caught the last big one, probably about a mile apart. So we picked up, we came back, just did a little tour. Where I was yesterday, the screen is blank. So what we did is we're about, like I said, about a mile over now, and we're gonna hit the small school. It wasn't very big. I'm gonna make this pass. If we don't catch another big one, we're gonna get up and we're just gonna motor around until we find the next big school. There's another one on there, about 13. So far, it's been a tough day on Lake Winnebago, but stay with us. Coming up, we'll head to weigh-in before getting right back out for day two tournament coverage, right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. FS multi-species series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Root E-Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evan Root E-Tech. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evinrude E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Ranger Boats, building legends, one boat at a time. Lucas Oil, it works. The weather came through as promised and the skies opened up to beautiful sunshine, but along with that came some big wind on Bagel. Is it enough to stir things up and get the fish active? We're about to find that off. The weigh-in starts now. You know, we had actually, we had a better day than what I thought. We had 15, I think 12, um, for only three fish. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen this morning happened. Started out on fire, um, had those fish by 8.30, that storm rolled in, we had a little bit of lightning and it shut off instantly. Been one fish for a long time, uh, but the last couple hours put some things together and uh, put five fish in the boat. I only probably caught, you know, five legal fish that were, that were at least over 16, 17 inches or so. Three really good ones. We got three fish over 25 inches and, uh, and it definitely a, a good enough bag to keep us in the hunt for tomorrow, I think. From Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, this is Corey Springle. Stepping up to the scales with a good limit, Corey did better than expected, finishing the day in fifth with 1988. 
Series from Hatley, Wisconsin, won the first event of the year, put it together for Tom Keenan. Tom Keenan struggled, catching just three fish for 821. I think the biggest thing that affected was all the rain we got last night. It put a lot of current in a lot of places. I think it really scattered my fish instead of concentrating them. It didn't help by no means for sure. Jason Mucci brought in five for 1741 and 15th place. That's got to feel pretty good. Angler of the year, Robert Blosser from Point at Wisconsin. Fourth place went to Robert Blosser with five for 2072. Jim Hughes is always a threat on Winnebago, and he didn't disappoint today, finishing out in third with 21-16. That rain last night, we had about an inch of rain. It definitely helped dirty things up. Um, I know that the guys that are fishing out in the mud, um, the mud flats had uh, really appreciated, I think, the clear water. They were catching some pretty nice ones pre-fishing, and I thought maybe those storms last night were gonna shake them up a little bit, but uh, yeah, for the most part, it, this this body of water it has its it does have periods where it clears up and then a little bit of wind it'll dirty right back up again or a little bit of rain. Bill Shimoda's got a nice basket of fish. Bill Shimoda landed in second with 21.29, but it was Robert Brueger on top with a better than three pound lead over the rest of the field with a day one total of 24.61. Feeling good about that fish, Rodney? We're feeling real good. Bob is a great guy, and he worked hard all day, and we got him. Yes, you did, because today's bag at 2461, Robert Brueger leading the Cabela's National Wildlife Tour, lays it down with a monstrous bag of 2461, leaving everybody in the dust right now. The, the fish were spread out. I It took me over an hour to get my first fish. And it was, it was a grind, move a little, get a fish, move a little bit more. I just kept working, moving a little bit, doing, making adjustments. And um, I caught five legal fish, put them in the box, and that's what I weighed. So it was, uh, there was a little bit of luck, I think, involved there. But um, hopefully it just keeps up. So it was only the five you caught, and those are the five you weighed? Yes. You, you sneaked it in there, huh? And I lost a good one. Coming up next, we'll get out for final day coverage from the second stop in the 2016 season of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. If you'd like to learn more about fishing with us next season, check it out at nationalwalleytour.com. Arctic Ice loves the outdoors. Wherever your next adventure takes you and your cooler, use Arctic Ice to keep your food and drinks cold and dry. It's also great for keeping live wells cool, so fish and bait stay healthy. You can even keep frozen food or game frozen for days. Cold or frozen, Arctic Ice has got you covered. Three brands of Arctic Ice let you choose the temperature you want for your cooler. You never have to buy ice again. Watch the videos at arctic-ice.com. Check out our new Chill and Brew Team Sport Colors, great for tailgating. Remember, it's not just ice, it's Arctic Ice. For anglers who want it all, the new HDS3, a revolutionary step forward in simultaneous chirp sonar and structure scan HD sonar imaging, clearer views, faster interface, multi-touch screen, key pan operation, and total boat control. Plus, with versatile networking and go-free wireless sync of maps, software, and apps, HDS3 is the ultimate fish finding system. Wow. Find, navigate, dominate with Lowrance. Not all water is created equal. It's why Stratus builds multi-species boats to take on the pressure of the rough stuff while reinforcing comfort, confidence, and convenience. Inside, the specially engineered construction is designed for an exceptional ride and superb handling features. The Stratus Excursion Series. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Forty-nine million Americans struggle to put food on the table. Please consider donating a portion of your hunt this season to help feed those in need. Find out more at ramtrucks.com. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. 
Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evan Rude. Proven power. Proven reliability. And by Boat US. Take us with you on the water. Day number two on the Winnebago chain has produced one of the most competitive events we've had in a long time. What a top 10. Robert Berger is leading by three pounds, but inside his bag he had one big fish. On his tail between second and 10th is just 2.1 pounds. And who is inside that list? Let's take a look at it. We got tournament champion Bill Shimoda, local angler Jimmy Hughes. This guy knows how to get it done on this body of water. Robert Blosser, past angler of the year. Corey Springle, he's won a big national uh, wall Tour event here. Mike Gofront, Hall of Fame angler. Kevin Elman, Wade Wild, Jeremy Schreiner, and Kevin Carson said all these guys know how to get it done on the big day, and today is the big day. It's day number two. Going out in first place, something new for me. Yesterday was a slow, long grind. Um, caught five wayfish. Um, had a great weight out of them, though, fortunately. I'm going to go out and do the same thing today. It's a, it's a trolling spinner's bite. Um, Hopefully it's a little more active today. The weather affected me yesterday, I'm sure of that. This lake changes daily, and that's the thing out here is, you know, you can catch them one day, not catch them the next, and vice versa. So it's constantly looking for them fish and, and hoping to run into that big school. But flat, calm conditions today, who knows what that's going to bring. Yeah, you can see it. I want to go farther, but I'm going to end up getting in the way here. Yeah, those marks look awesome. Perfect mark. Same program. Go uh, go 25 and 30. Got it. There's somewhat of a morning bite, and then they seem to fire up again in the afternoon. So um, a lot of it is just being patient during that lull and don't start scrambling around. And um, I kind of, when that lull's going on, I just go drive around and look for fish. And then once I know they're going to bite, then I, I go set up on them. Where the round ones are more. That one's longer too, that's probably a walleye too, but the more rounder marks like that one, or that's a sheep head. I can see the same thing on down imaging right there. There's a long mark, that's a walleye. You know, the little dots. Maybe a little more dots over here, those are probably drum. There's another walleye there. You can see the shadow behind it, so I know he's up off the bottom a ways. Maybe hard to see on the camera, but uh, you know there's there's fish laying all over in here. Paying super close attention to that stuff is important because you really need to sort them out. That looks chunky, huh? Uh, yeah, here I'm gonna hand them off to yeah. you. That might be one we need. Uh, we should be in good shape because they always seem to bite in the afternoon, so I just can't get. You can't get too antsy and start putting small ones in. You know, you gotta gotta try to win when you got the chance. So that's what we're gonna go out to do today. How's your drag? So we can move us. All right, looks good. Oh, you wanna go over there, huh? Oh, there go. oh that looked good. Yeah, that's one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's chunky too. I yeah, will take it. Good job. 21 and a half. That's oh, a decent one. Decent one indeed. All right. Nice one. That's uh, that's when your plan's paying off. We went high speed red, found the fish, put down a waypoint, trolled over the waypoint, caught a walleye. Textbook. Loving it. Hopefully, uh, we got two more waypoints in front of us here now. So it's a good start. Yeah. 21. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah. I mean, really, I was hoping it wasn't like an 18 inch or so. Yeah, that's a good one to start with, for sure. Bill Shimoda is off to a good start. Checking in on tournament leader Robert Brueger. It's mid morning, and he is still looking for a Short keeper. Minute. Yeah, it's, well, it's 10 feet. Make sure he's up when you get him. He's going in the box, but he's not what we want, but we'll take him.
about five to nine, finally put a first fish in the box, 17 incher. Um, it was a grind yesterday, just gonna keep grinding the day and hopefully they get a little bigger. Jim Hughes has two. If this one keeps, it'll be number three. All right, put him in the well. I believe that one, I didn't even measure it. I believe it's 18 inches. It's a third. We'll just keep climbing the ladder. I'm hoping we don't even have to weigh. We got one over 20 in there, and I'm hoping that the other two we can just get rid of. So we'll, uh, we'll just keep at it and hopefully get a few more bites here of quality. I need them over 20, that's for sure. So, but I'm grateful for anything right now. We're just about a half an hour before weigh-in, and it's getting really exciting. Everything has changed on Winnebago come day two. The weather's completely different. The bite's completely different. And as you can see, it's anybody's ball game. You know what? This just might favor some of those anglers that have drawn the later flights on day two, giving them more opportunity in these late-day stable conditions. We're going to find out now as we get to weigh-in. Coming up, we'll head to the final weigh-in, where the winning pro will go home with a prize package worth $85,000 right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Stay close. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. You know, one thing you worry about these days is ethanol in your outboard. One product I use is Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner. And when you use a bottle of this, basically is the ability to protect and safeguard your motor. This five and a quarter ounce bottle will treat 25 gallons of fuel. It's perfect for marine applications. Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner and Stabilizer. It's what I'm pouring into my fuel tank to help protect my investment in my big motor. Available at Cabela's. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using. Optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities, and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine, powering more than the boat. Minn Kota Trolling Motors, anywhere, anytime. Triton Boats, we take America fishing. And by Arctic Ice. Welcome back to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and stop number two of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour. It has been two tough days of fishing on what's usually one of the best walleye fisheries in the country. It seems like when these fish don't want to feed, it can, it can affect the whole entire system, which is really weird, but uh, maybe that'll be a good thing for us. You know, I think I, I got enough definitely to take a really nice top 10 finish probably, but as far as the win, eh, I think it's gonna be close. Getting right into the final weigh-in, let's head to the scales with John Gilman. John finished out day one in 12th place, but he's carrying a big five fish limit here on day two. For John to make a run at first place, he's gonna need over 21 pounds of walleye. Today's weight, 2201. John Gilman is leading the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. And just like that, John Gilman is at the top of the leaderboard. He held that lead against some of the best pros on the tour. From the hot seat, John watched as one by one, the crowd got thinner. Corey Sprengel, Bill Shimoda, Jim Hughes.
they all fell by the wayside. Coming up next, Scott Zaweski. Making the biggest leap of the tournament, Scott Zaweski climbed from 32nd to 3rd, picking up nearly $19,000 in the process. At the end of the day, it came down to just one angler left for John Gilman to beat. That was day one leader Robert Brueger. Robert Brueger! Don't put it in there yet, Robert. Hold it real tight here. Aaron Peterson from Rockwell, Iowa, this co-angler. How are you feeling? I'm very nervous because John made it a race. All right, John made it a race, so it's going to be tight. How many fish do we got in the bag? We've got five. And what happens when we weigh this? We will crown a... NWT champion. Have you ever been an NWT champion? I have not. What would it mean to win? Oh, it would be astounding. Do you want to weigh this out? Should we crown a champion? Yeah. Robert needs 15, 49, or oh, 15 and a half pounds approximately to be crowned champion. Robert, your weight today, 1792. Robert Brueger is a national walleye tour champion. Grab a hold of that, get around front, put it together for him, Oshkosh, because that is your champion in 2016, Ranger Evan Pro, Robert Brueger. To, to win this, it, it's my first major win, and it's, it's to, to be against these anglers and to do it on this stage at the highest level is, is an achievement like none other that I've ever had. And it, it means so much, and it's a feeling that that's amazing and um, just loving it. Congratulations to Robert Brueger. He'll take home $15,000 in cash and a brand new Ranger 620 FS powered by a 250 HP Evinrude. On the co-side, it was Jack Braddock with a two-day total weight of 4191. He picks up the win and $6,500. I don't know what to say. Just had a couple of great days and a great week and fishing Mike Grove from yesterday and Carl walking back today and kind of had a slow start to the morning and we got on him, we got the right bites and got one right with five minutes left coming in and can't believe it. Taking a look at the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year standings, Wayne Van Dyke is leading with Ed Stahusky and a handful of others close behind. Oshkosh is Wisconsin's event city. There is something for everyone to do here. It's very family friendly, from uh, Lake Winnebago to the EAA Museum, the world's largest air show, to our parks, shopping, our downtown. It's just a beautiful area with a lot to do. It's a wonderful, wonderful city. We'd like to give a big thanks to the people of Oshkosh for their hospitality. For information or planning a trip to the region, go to visitoshkosh.com. To learn how you can become a part of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour, go to nationalwalleytour.com or visit the National Walleye Tour Facebook page. This has been a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.